Yeah. I take I take controls. Yeah, and, uh, you have I'll control do, the aircraft. I got my controls, and then this is I'm, I'm going to be now a CFI. Right? Oh, okay. So here we go. Yeah. So I'm going to bring this back up. We're going to come back up to 32. Okay. And we're just going to kind of, you know, coming up here. We're not doing the clearance turns just yet. And we'll just repeat that maneuver. Okay. And uh, see how how I can uh, do it on on uh, the way I, I do it, and then um, and I'll teach you that method. Got it. And so we're coming up. 200 feet to go. Just kind of doing these. Yep. And uh, but that was good. I mean, you're you're talking through it. That's important. Uh, but you don't want to uh, to get too focused where yeah. you omit like your altitude loss yeah, or whatnot. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, right. You know, that's always important stuff. So of course. Yeah. And right, we still have um, you know summit point right out in that, in that area. So I kind of want to be around summit point. That's what I'm going to use. Got it. As my landmark and that heading. I like that. That's is gonna cool. Be summit right around. Point. 210. So there we go. 210. Two Got I'm it. I'm just going to bring the power back here to you know, my cruise power. And I'm going to do my clearing turn. I'm going to do one clearing turn to, I'll do it one to the uh, left uh -huh. and then one to the right. So uh, I'm going to just lift up my wing slightly to the left. Yeah. And uh, normally I do it to the left because yeah. one of the rules uh, for the regs is that an airplane that is uh, going to, um, you know, they're calling you on pass you, they're going to pass you to the right and well clear. So if we make our initial turn to the right. Uh you may turn into them and we don't know they're coming uh, behind us. But with Tiz, it's nice, but you know, it's just uh, don't always trust it, right? Uh, so then we go and make another right turn here. Uh huh. And our winds right now are behind us. It's another thing to kind of right. take a, a look point. at. Yep. And so doing the clearing turns. And that's just really the opportunity to look for other traffic in the area. Yep. Which, you know, right now I think we just only had one other airplane that's out here and they're out practicing towards Berryville. Mm. And so now we get to uh, our. You know our reference point here, and you know I've got uh, you know I'm within 10 degrees of my heading, so I'm just going to turn yep. that back slightly. We'll get five. Yep. So I'm going to set the power to 1500, just like you did. Yep. Right. Set the power and hold the back pressure. And once I'm below 110 knots, I can just give it full flaps. Oh right, right wow! There. Full flaps right in, and uh, that way the maneuver is going to go quicker. As you start uh, seeing, that's the good. airspeed starts to slow down pretty quickly. Right. And so I'm, I'm kind of waiting here. I'm at, right now I'm 3,300. I'm just going to yep. kind of pitch down. Add a little nose trim. Yep. And then, just like you talked about, we're going we're gonna to wait until about 45 knots, right? Yep. And so once you get to about 45 knots, I'm going to pitch up just a slight. And then yep. there you go. Add some power, 2,000 RPM. Gotcha. And then just pitch that. Gotcha. There you go. I'm going to come back to my heading. I'll have another five degrees. I just went a little bit there, but it's not okay. too bad. There it is. And I'll just bring back the power just a tiny bit until I get back to 45. Looking outside the window, looking for traffic. That's always really important. Yep. Pull it down just a tiny bit here so we can get down to 45 knots. Maybe add a little bit more nose trim. You can see right now I don't have a high vertical descent rate. Right. It's just about 150, right. but I'm maintaining 3,200 feet. And right, right, right. Yeah, power. absolutely. Very, very there nice. There you go. Very, very nice. There's 45. Yep, 45. Now, now we're trimming it and a little nose down trim. I have a high angle of attack. Now I can let go of the yoke, right? And then the airplane is pretty well trimmed. Yeah, that's awesome. And then you can see this that, you know, if I'm moving wow, the yoke yeah, left and right, there's a lot of mushiness in the controls. Yeah, it's crazy. And yeah. so it's not really taking too much input. Back so yeah. if you want to increase the input, you can just over uh, the route seven gap at 3,000 feet, heading okay. to Berryville for maneuvers. I mean, at least for practice, there five, four, two, ten, go to tells over summit point, thirty-one hundred feet. All right, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nice, gentle clearing turn to the right. Yeah. And just so I can let people, you know, you know, if I'm taking passengers on Discovery flight, you know, I can show me that summit point. But yeah. you know, if you're you're teaching the student how to, you know, do slow flight, you're just preparing them how to land because this is exactly what they're doing. Right. Just above the runway. 